Chris, I just said all of that without taking one breath. That's because I was walking away from the iPad. That is correct. <laughs> so, but Chris, I'm back I'm, now. I'm very excited, uh, one, to be able to take a breath, but uh, because I'm being joined by Ron from the Children's Home of York. How are you, Ron? I'm doing well, Philip. How are you? I am good. I am good. I will say, uh, so it, it's, it's a very long day of talking, right? I am standing I here learning about nonprofits, some of which I'm very familiar with. We've had several that are first year participants come through the doors. Right. Um, but I really do genuinely enjoy the conversations with someone like you. You've participated in Give Local York all six years. Uh, now is my opportunity to find out what's going on with the children's home that's new that I haven't learned about in the last year. And then what you guys are fundraising for, what you're excited about. Sounds great. So what's new is we're really excited. Um, on Monday, actually, we opened up a new psychiatric residential treatment program at the Angel Center on our campus on 77 Shoe House Road. So we're very excited about that. I That's think awesome. um, we just talked about to Family First and they talked a little bit about some of the growing needs from a healthcare perspective. But I think post pandemic, it really exposed how some of the complex needs that our children and our families are presenting with from a mental health perspective too. And you know, Children's Home is, is in the business of working with children and families specifically around mental health needs. So being able to open up a new psychiatric residential treatment program for our community and a new program that really doesn't exist, this model of care in the state of Pennsylvania, I think is exciting for us as an organization and certainly exciting for our community too, especially since we'll be able to meet the needs of some, some kids who have some pretty complex mental health, behavioral health, and maybe even intellectual challenges. So you're working, that's a, that's a new product. You said that's, that's, a, that's, so that's out in Helm then? It is, it's on, on our campus in, in Helm, yes. And then you're also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have a note here that you're fundraising too for independent living on George Street, is that correct? You got it, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So two yeah. very big uh, programs being launched pretty much simultaneously, it's so exciting. Yeah, yeah absolutely, so tw um, our, our, our home on George Street has been there for a long time. I think we're gonna be celebrating 50 years over okay. the next few years. However, um, the, the, the home on 1298 North George Street is an old Victorian home. Mm -hmm. And in that old Victorian home has an old kitchen. And I think we all know that old kitchens cost a lot of money to renovate. Yeah. And um, we have about 12 kids that are, that are um, in our program at any given time. And we serve about 40 to 50 a year. So we're excited about kind of up renovating our kitchen at George Street. That's awesome. Yeah. So as a, um, a Give Local York veteran, what gets you excited? Um, you know, it kind of runs the gamut. What I hear, a lot of nonprofits are really excited that it is a concentrated fundraising day, right? Yeah. That you can take a lot of your efforts and just dump it into Give Local York because uh, this is the day that your dollars and donors' dollars really is maximized. Right. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, this is one of our biggest fundraising days, and I think that that's something that's exciting for an organization. We're able to identify a project that's a significant need mm -hmm. for our kids and, and actually be able to fund that. But I think more importantly is kind of the sense of community that I think that Give Local builds. It really creates an opportunity for all of us to come together in the nonprofit world. I was just talking to somebody about how I think important we are is weaving the social fabric of our community. And it creates an opportunity for all of us to come together, celebrate each other, um, support each other. Um, I'm hoping that all of the organizations that we partner with do exceptionally, exceptionally well today too. Yeah, there's never a sense of competition, right? Because if yeah. one organization is doing well, then every organization is, is, is doing well. I, you know, we really, Chris, from 8 a.m. to right now, I can probably draw a thread of collaboration between just about every single organization that has been Yeah, here. absolutely. I mean, we work so closely with Family First Health. Most of our kids are on Medicaid, so they utilize the services. Right. We're partnering with the Cultural Alliance. Leadership York is a huge supporter of ours. They really help build the leadership capacity of our organization. I could go on and on, like we partner with the Child Advocacy Center. Yeah. So yeah, the nonprofit community, I think really enriches, enriches the, the York community. Yeah. And I think when we work well together, which I think the nonprofit community does in York, it creates an opportunity for all of our clients to be served better because we're touching them in all different ways, whether I'm working with children, um, we're, we're trying to build leadership capacity, or if we're trying to promote you know, health of, of single moms, right. we're creating a stronger community together. 
Well, and I mean, I, I've literally seen business cards being exchanged just in this room, right? Like there are new connections happening because of Give Local. And I, it, it, I started the day with Emerson from Coats of Friendship. And mm -hmm. he, how old is Emerson, Chris, you think? Nine? Yeah, somewhere yeah. between nine and 11 years yeah. old. And yeah. him yeah. and his brother are running this organization that distributes 6,000 coats. It's just insane. Yeah. And it's it's that kind of spotlight that gets me excited, clearly has gotten 8,445 donors excited. Uh, I didn't really have a conclusion to that. Just a yeah. wild day all around. <laughs> yeah, well, I just think that, that York is a special community um, and, and I think a, an extremely generous community. Yeah. And I think today is a day to celebrate that. Brian Grimm, uh, Maybe crossing the line to being a troll because I think yeah. he's commented on every single uh, one now. Yeah. But they are doing wonderful things for our, our our youth. Yeah, Brian, we love you deeply. I don't. Is Brian in here today? Is he stopping by? I don't know who Brian is, but he seems like a nice guy. He's. He loves he's watching a, YouTube. He is a very nice guy. He's on our board of directors too. So again, another connection, which I think is you know, Brian the York community. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Ron, thank you for your time. If people want to learn more about uh, what you are up to, where can they find information? Well, they can certainly go to the Give Local website, but obviously if they want to just Google the Children's Home of York, you'll be able to come to our website, join us on Facebook. There are so many opportunities for you to, to connect with us on social media. Just, just search us, Children's Home of York. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yep.